Hello fellow people who would like to look at the solar eclipse. Uh, this is Reese in Florida ready for the eclipse today and I thought I'd show you how I'm preparing to be able to see the eclipse. Uh, I didn't get any of the fancy glasses anywhere, the eclipse glasses. Um, and remember when you do get those glasses, get it from a reputable source and don't just get the one that's seven for two dollars because I don't know how well they're going to work. So what I've got to do, which I've done before at uh, other eclipses, I'm going to make my own glasses. I'm not going to go into the whole Pinterest way of making the glasses, but I'm going to show you what I use to make these glasses. So don't look at the sun through your sunglasses. I know some people think they're heroes and can do it. Don't do it. Uh, the way that I do the glasses is actually old school technology. Uh, I use me this. If you guys remember them. Floppy disk, 1.44 floppy disk. Or you can use a stiffy disk. And the main thing that you use inside of it is the disk, actually the data part of the disk. Um, so, let me show you. It's that part inside there. So looking through that at the sun makes it perfect. It's a round red ball. Uh, perfect way to look at it without hurting yourself. Or you can actually remove these out and stick them onto your glasses, onto your reading glasses. Look at it and it's perfect. It's not burning me eyes. Double check. Not burning me eyes. Just make sure you don't end up looking through that little part over there because that'll burn your peepers. Um, I'm trying to switch this around so I can show you it, but let me see if it works like this. I'm putting this over the lens so that you can see what the sun looks like. So there, I hope you can see it. That's what it'll look like. You'll just see a little round thing like that, which is perfect, perfect, perfect. You're just looking for the shape of the sun. Okay, well, enjoy your solo eclipsing and please don't burn out your eyeballs.